Sure. Uh, th thank you, first of all, for having me on the panel and to the World Health Summit for really bringing together a diverse group of stakeholders. I think that makes for a much richer discussion, especially when we're talking about partnerships and the need for more sort of multi-dimensional uh, solutions. So um, I'll, I'll start out really by getting right to your question about how I've seen things evolve and how the partnerships changed. And I've, I've been with Pfizer for 24 years now, and I've seen dramatic change in the way we do partnerships. But, and I think you know, tying it to the sustainable development goals is really uh, important because part of how I've seen the, the partnerships evolve relate to trying to develop more sustainable partnerships. And you know, Pfizer and others across the industry have historically been involved in donations and access programs as individual companies for decades, but what I've seen the evolution towards is a much more, a much greater focus on multi-sectorial partnerships that really try to get at the heart of the health systems issues that underlie the problems. And I'll, I'll share maybe a couple examples of, of, of how we've, we've done that, but I think the most successful partnerships are those that really bring together um, stakeholders from across the, the healthcare sector, government, civil society, um, the private sector, uh, disease organizations that can really bring unique aspects to the partnership. And they all have something invested and they all have accountability. I think that's critical to any of these partnerships going forward. I'll give you one really, what I think is one of the best examples of this, and it's Gavi, the Glo Global Alliance for Vaccines. And um, you know, Nancy mentioned the, the vaccine coverage. I, I think Gavi is probably part of, not the explanation, but part of the reason why we're having better vaccine coverage. And Gavi is, I think, a really interesting partnership that brings together uh, vaccine manufacturers to produce and provide a dozen vaccines for childhood diseases. Uh, it brings together uh, donor countries, uh, developing countries uh, who will, who need access to the vaccines, uh, the Gates Foundation as a private funder, uh, UNICEF that is a, the procurer. Um, it brings together civil society to make sure the vaccines get to the, uh, get to the patients. It brings together WHO um, as the regulator. And everyone has something that they've committed and everyone gets something out of the partnership. For us, uh, Pfizer, we, um, manufacture our Prevnar vaccine for pneumococcal d disease uh, w and uh, we have uh, manufactured a special uh, delivery mechanism that tries to address some of the cold chain challenges in the supply chain to actually get uh, the, the vaccine to the end user. Uh, but that program I think has been one of the most sustainable and successful partner health, par public health partnerships you know, in the last five years, I believe about uh, 500 million children have been vaccinated and over 7 million lives saved because of that partnership. And in the coming five years, the target is to vaccinate another 300 children, which would equate to about another five or six million lives. But I think the success of that is everyone has something committed to the partnership. Everyone feels accountable. Uh, and everyone is delivering. And I think one of the most, the biggest innovations from the private sector's perspective on Gavi is the advanced market commitment, where the, the donors and the governments commit upfront to long-term funding that enables the manufacturers to provide supply at a much greatly reduced cost. So uh, that's one example. Maybe I'll, I'll stop yeah, there. Yeah. And I have others we can give Yeah, I'd, 